course, we got the Pokemon Trainer. And you never know who he's going to start with. But he always starts with Squirtle, I think, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Squirtle will have the speed to be able to catch up with Sonic. It's just a matter of killing. If uh, Squirtle can't kill, then it's a problem. Alright, using those different Razor Leaf distances to try and pressure Sonics and actually doing a pretty good job. Wasn't able to find a landing up there though. Back in neutral for these two. Wow. Okay. Both of these two kind of training out each other's uh, percents right now. They're going to air dodge right through. Works out just fine, but they're not able to find a forward smash, but Sonic's isn't either. I like that. Using Razor Leaf into up air and using it to get back to the stage, too. Getting out of disadvantage pretty quickly, forcing Sonic to jump. Quick back air outwards. And another back air. I feel like Ivysaur would have the range to be able to handle things like this. Oh, are you gonna... Okay. <laughs> I thought he might have tried to end Sonic's life there. Run up up smash, not quite gonna work out. Flare Blitz. Avoid the spring just fine. And Charizard's gonna be living it's a little bit better on this stage. We'll have to see how the, oh, oh! Man, Sonic's on the chase, but finally gonna get that back air close to stock. Pandarian switching back to Squirtle, who will die if you literally sneeze at him. And I like that, yeah. Switching back to the Ivysaur once he's out of disadvantage, but it's not quite gonna work. The fourth match closes out yet another stock. I able to space with that bear. Quick bear out of shield. Get a little bit of damage for Sonic. Alright, Pantarian not able to find down throw up bear, but still got the advantage position. Trying to find something in that four tilt, of course. A lot of end lag. Gonna get a quick uh, shield drop in the four tilt. Works out just fine. And Darren defense is just gonna zone him out. Oh, he uses the strong, strongest one finally to try and get a setup. We're not able to find anything. And Darren's still comfortable lead. No need for him to really push himself really far. Just keep doing his same game plan until Sonic figures out how to deal with it. And wow, they're confirmed. The Razor Leaf into up air. Now it'll steal out the stock even from so low from the stage. Oh, spin dash to fair. I feel like that works more in this game than it did in Smash 4. Either that or it's just better at killing. I'm not so sure which one it is. Definitely interesting though. Back to the Ivysaur. Squirtle wasn't quite working out. Just trying to get back out of this advantage state. I mean, these projectiles are doing a good job of stuffing uh, Sonic's approaches. Only because... Sonic's best on the ground. He, does, he doesn't have too much air, uh, aerial priority. So that's where he wants to excel in. But the, the Razor Leaf kind of denies that uh, from Sonic's. He would have to time the spin dashes accordingly so that he can get the invincibility after the small hop. But that quite won't work either because he can just throw out another one once he once the Darren feels like it. Back air off stage. Pretty high percent for Sonic, especially this percent. Yeah, I was gonna say falling up air might be able to do it, but no Razor Leaf. Oh, really close on the spacing there. Able to get around. Another quick back air out of shield. Ivy Sword's aerial normals are so good in this game. All right, bring it back. Use the Charizard. Of course, Sonic does relatively well against Heavy, so you're going to have to be careful directional air dodge and uses a spring to get a mi little bit of a mix-up. Back throw still not going to be able to do it. When are we going to see the Flare Blitz in action? I can just feel it coming. Landing there. Wow, the upper actually peeked through the stage. Oh, but the Talons come out. Pandarian going to get that stock right there. Pokemon Trainer, you all did great. Pokemon Trainer says you all did great.
All right, we're just gonna be waiting on them to submit everything and verify, yada, yada, yada. Sonics is very strong. I don't know um, if they're PR'd in Dominican Republic or just play strictly online, but Sonics has won a whole Battle Network Thursday. And, uh, you know, we can always check uh, how many entrants there were today. Just click exclamation point bracket. Someone can tell me, hopefully. I'm too busy looking at this and making sure that they choose the stage and everything right now. Ready? Wow, they're ready to get started? Okay. Going back to Final Destination, it looks like. Interesting. Go. Three, two, one, go! I, charged I don't really know why he charged up Water Gun. I've never really seen Pandarian use that move, but maybe we'll see a quick mix-up with it somewhere down the line. We'll have to see. Sonic's just keeping up. Oh, wow, the parries. Finesh into homing attack. Wow, quick parry on those razor loops too. Sonic's recognizing a new option and uh, tries to use it to his advantage. I like that. Recognizing what? Oh my god! I thought that was about to be it. I was about to. I was gonna think that myself. Are you kidding me? Down through the vine whip at like nine, at like eighty after the hit. I guess that has a lot of kill potential for some odd reason. Yeah, he's looking for it too. It looks like Sonic wasn't quite ready for it either. It looks like he almost died. So this time in the round, he's uh, DIing outwards to make sure he doesn't get hit by that fine whip. Is he gonna get back? He uses the Razor Leaf just fine. Okay. After the dare, not enough hits on Devo connected to not right now. So. Even uh, even without any platform assist, Cypher Cross still able to take the stock at 140. Armor right through the spring. Back throw mix up into the talons. I like it. All right, how's Pandarian gonna get back? He is not gonna get back. He will SD. Unfortunately, went a little bit too low. That's what we call fear, my friends. Or maybe he just SD. I don't know. Ooh, back air just stops the Razor Leaf before it comes out. Man, these two like to trade a lot, actually. But usually I think Ivysaur has stronger aerials, so usually he'll win, I feel. Ooh, the dash attack. Interesting option coming from Mandarian. Usually Ivysaur's dash attack is really laggy, so you don't see that option come out a lot. Oh, the directional air dodge comes out of the bad situation just in time before the back air is able to hit him. Yeah, and again, using those razor leaves, been able to be safe, and the directional air dodge reads it a mile away. And Pandarian able to get that forward smash. Oh, but the spring into the neutral air, that takes out the stock too real quick. Now we're back to an even game, one stock apiece. Pandarian one stock away from securing himself a spot in the Grand Finals here at Battle Network Thursdays. Not without Sonic having to say something with that quick spin dash combo. Getting 27% already. Comparing to up air. Man, I just, man, Ivysaur's up air seems, seems so satisfying to hit. Oh, gonna get flipped a little bit, but he's just gonna be fine. I like that switch into the Charizard. Sometimes if you're too close to the stage, sometimes the Vine Whip won't actually register onto the stage, so you just whiff it and then end up going off stage. 
which makes it kind of a risky move, but I like that the key switch to the Charizard able to make it back. And he uses the timer once more to switch into the next Pokemon. Into the up air, that's it! Just Razor Leaf up air. That closes it out. Pandarian representing the Pacific Northwest. Gonna take it 2-0. Nice stuff. All right. Well, we'll just have to check the loser's bracket now and see. Oh, okay. I got a chat. I got a...